Welcome or welcome back to the Power of Personal Branding and Manifestation Podcast with your host, it's me, Malika, content creator, entrepreneur, and your girl to personal branding and manifestation. I'm really excited for this episode because this was something that you guys have been DMing me about, asking me about, which is how exactly to start getting clients through posting content, okay? So I get it, you know, you know that you need to start posting content to increase your income, triple your income, get more clients, grow your clientele, and you wanna know like what's the right approach to take, what exactly you need to change or implement, and you're ready to learn, well, this is going to be the episode for you. So let's get into it right now. And just a quick mention that this episode is brought to you by my signature program, Creator Magnet and Manifest. This is the program for the content creator and entrepreneur girlies that are actually ready to invest in their business and in themselves in order to see the result that you are looking to have. If you're tired of chasing after your client, like not knowing what to post or guessing what to post, you don't know where you're going wrong and you're tired of being stuck and you're finally ready to take you and your business to the next level, this is the all-in-one program for you. You're getting a proven customized content strategy for you and your business, coaching sessions with me, and you're getting lifetime access to all the courses that are within that program. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, definitely book your free discovery call to see how I can help you and if you would be a good fit for the program. So anyways, first thing I'm gonna say is that you need to start looking at your content as your number one marketing tool. Like that is the vehicle for you to start getting the result that you are looking to have, which is to grow your income or your clientele or both, okay? So this is why I talk about personal branding because personal branding is a marketing strategy that you implement within your content, right? And that is the number one thing that works and that makes people pick you over someone else that makes you stand out stand out from all the other people that are doing the same thing as you okay so this is something i need to tell you you need to start getting people to care about you and your business not only what you have to offer okay because this is what makes someone pick you over someone else. This is what makes you stand out from everybody else doing the same thing because they care about you. They care about your business. They get attached to how you are. And this is why you need to sprinkle some of your personality within your content strategy because we want people to care for the person that is behind the business, the face behind the business, the face behind the service, behind the product. That is what people need to care about, okay? Because your offer, your product, whatever your offer, okay? It's nothing new. Like we're not like reinventing some special thing. Like we're not like, you know what I mean? Like it's things that are done over and over again. Like there is a million people doing the same thing right and so this is why your approach with your personal brand with your content needs to stand out because perfect example let's say i give you the choice between following a business that simply posts about their launch their service just that versus following someone that is the CEO of a business and that brings you along into the process of creating their product, of creating what they have to offer, that after they also bring you to like a brand photo shoot they're doing and then also they post the launch and all that stuff, like which one would you follow? I don't know about you, but I would follow the one that is a person, that I see the person, and that they're talking about the process, why they chose this product, why they decided to do this. Like, you know what I mean? Why? Because there is a connection. There is a connection, there's a reason for me to care, right? And so that is also how you need to think of yourself, that you are a business or a service provider. Because even though like, yes, okay, you need to have a great service, you need to have a great product, okay, all that stuff is great. But the way you market yourself is literally 
everything, okay? Because let's say, let's take this microphone for example, okay? Let's say I'm looking to buy a microphone, okay? This can be your service, your offer, your product, whatever, okay? This is, it's in a microphone right now, okay? <laughs> so let's say I'm looking for a microphone and everybody else is handing me a microphone and they're like, pick my microphone, buy my microphone, okay? But to me, they all look the same. They all look the same microphone. From my perspective, all I'm seeing is everybody handing out their microphone to me and they're like, take mine, okay? But I don't know why I should pick yours. I don't know why it's different. Why should I go with yours instead of someone else's microphone? Like, you know, because this is the truly the power into marketing yourself within your personal brand and your content strategy that is super powerful because you get to market yourself in a way that number one, attracts the right client to you. And number two, they see why they should pick you over someone else. Because if you never communicate with me why your microphone is different and why I should go with it, um, I'm not gonna want to pay for your freaking microphone. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see the value in it yet. I don't see it. And so this is what you need to incorporate within your content strategy as well. And obviously before someone even consider, you know, your offer or going with you, they need to follow you, okay? like that is the thing this is how they enter your universe they enter your world right like we need that person to follow us because why because if they don't know we exist they can't buy from us okay <laughs> or they can't know that they need our service or a product okay they don't know that so this is the importance of giving someone a reason to follow you in the first place right and for that, I want you to think of what makes you want to follow someone else, right? Like what makes you want to follow someone else? Is it because they pique your interest? They're talking about something you care about. Um, they're, you know, they're doing something that you yourself are interested in um, or you can relate to them. You find them inspiring. They're helping you. You know what I mean? Like these are the reasons that initially draw people in right and afterward they get to know you they get to know your business they get to you know what i mean but there is something that pulls them in first this is something that i also talk within my program because it is so important to incorporate that within your content kind of strategy to talk to the right market and the thing is there is no one that is going to be like you there's no one that's going to like express the same there there's no one that's going to be the same personality there's no one that's going to do things the same as you and this is truly the importance of showing up authentically as yourself and something i need to mention okay is that please don't be one of those people that like ha, like look like they're so stuck up into being like so polished and professional and if you are like that like and that is authentically yourself like yes good go for it but what i mean is like don't try to portray yourself as like someone that you're not or that you're trying to look more like something you need you think is better for people like i don't know you know like please do show up as yourself we need to see those little like quirks of yours we need to see like what's your personality like we need to for example for me oh my god i don't know if you guys noticed you probably have noticed if you watched the video form but i use my hands so much when i talk this is probably something you notice and it's kind of like somewhat part of my character this is something that you notice when you watch me a lot but you know what i mean like you need to show up authentically as yourself and i'm not trying to be like okay guys hi today i'm going to be so professional and i'm not going to i'm going to be super serious like no one wants that <laughs> you know like that is not entertaining that is not relatable um and people want to feel a connection with you and so it's super super important that you start showing up as yourself and in doing so you'll attract clients that are even more your vibe that are even more on your level because to me like i want to show up as myself and be myself so that when someone wants to work with me and enter my program 
I know that we're gonna get along well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want like just anyone. I want the girl that are fucking ready to take their shit to the next level. They're fucking hyped. They care about the same thing that I care about. Like, they're invested. You know what I mean? Like, and so showing your personality also has that benefit. I want to bring up a mistake that I see a lot of entrepreneur and especially like service provider doing. Even even I would say people that like have products okay which is to not have content that stand out okay so let's say i were to take a piece of your content and put it next to someone else that is within the same industry or niche as you and i put these two pieces of content next to each other and i look at them and i don't know that these come from two different people okay am i able to tell which one is yours or does it just blend in together and it looks like it's from the same person because that is also a big mistake and you this is like basically telling you that your personal brand is not strong enough your kind of strategy is not strong enough because there's nothing that is standing out to the outside like to the outside viewer And so how is your content different and standing out from someone else? Because if your content is not standing out, that means your business is not standing out. That means you are not standing out. That means your service is not standing out. And I'm sure that you've seen a few creators that you follow that like when you see their content, like before you even see their face, you can tell like this is from that person. Or you have a specific image of like, oh my God, this girl, she always does her video like that. Like this is how, like how her videos are. And like, or, or you know what I mean? Like there's just something about the content that you can tell it's from that person. And if your content looks like a copy of everybody else's content, it's nothing special. It's nothing that is bringing something new. And this is something you need, you need to incorporate within your content strategy. Like how are you going to make your content stand out so that you yourself can stand out? Now, let's talk about authority for a second, okay? Because that is super important because this is basically what makes people trust in you. And when they see you, they're like, she knows what she's doing. So when I am looking for x thing or when i have x product uh when i have x problem i'm going to go see that person because she has authority within her niche and that's why they pick you right it's because they know you're the expert you're the person to go to you are the girl for this stuff you know what i mean that is what author- having authority means because again back with the microphone thing okay you need to give them a reason to go to you other than someone else right and so what is the reason you're giving them and that is uh, having authority is also a huge part that plays with your content strategy and having authority also means that people associate you with something specifically or with them specifically so let's say okay for me when you think of me, you're like, okay, personal branding, manifestation, right? So, you know, that is what having authority means. It's basically that people, when they think of a specific topic or a specific problem, they think of you. And now let's dive into like what to post, okay? What do you need to post? Because someone asked me, um, should I start posting about business because everybody around me that is successful that has client is posting about business and their content is performing well they're getting clients from posting about business so should i start posting about business and my answer to this is simple is your offer related to business because if it's not then you should not right because it's not going to target the right market for you like it's not targeting the right the right audience basically because what's going to happen is that if you're into skin and you're talking about business, well, the people coming to you are going to want to learn about business and not having the most beautiful skin. You know what I mean? They're not going to be interested in what you have to offer. 
And so this is why it's important that your content strategy is based upon what you want to be known for. And your content needs to be able to address the right market and really be able to speak to them, to speak to the right people that you want to attract to your business and truly create pieces of content that really talks to them specifically. And this is why having a customized content strategy is super, super key because you can look at like, oh, what is everybody else doing? Then whatever. But number one, it's not really going to reflect like you and your business authentically. And it's not going to be based upon your own personal brand. And also it needs to align with your goals, with your business. And this is why it's super important that your content and your personal brand is customized to you and your business. Okay, now let's talk about standing out with your service because having a high value service is so, so important and is honestly the key element to someone coming back to you and becoming a loyal customer, right? And also to other people being willing to pay the price that you're asking, to see the value in your business, to see the value in investing in you or in your business, okay? And so let's say just because this is like off the top of my head so let's say for example that you are an esthetician and you do skin okay and someone is looking for face mask or whatever okay and you are simply marketing yourself as oh i'm an esthetician and like this is my service this is my service right there's nothing really special about it there's nothing really that really shows the value of what you offer and this is the thing like if you want to have the best client and also increase your income you need to have a service that match up to that as well so that you can number one attract clients that are willing to pay your rate and that are aligned with you and the thing is there are so many layers to someone buying something because they're not just buying the product or the offer or the service itself there's so many layers to someone buying something depending on what your target audience is right and so maybe it's because they want someone that they can get along with maybe they want someone that's super calming maybe they want um someone that's going to play some really relaxing uh, music while you do their math maybe they want someone that uh give free sample you know maybe they like you know all these things add value to your service and this is truly a key element because if you don't show the value and how your service is different from someone else's they're not gonna know either and don't get me wrong we're not out here reinventing some fucking service and some product or whatever like everything has been done before everything has been done before but the thing is it's all about how you market it how do you market it right because that is what is important and that is what will make the right people come to you. And if you don't know what makes you or your service stand out, someone else's is not going to know it either if you yourself don't know it. And really with personal branding, this is why I always say it's like the number one thing is because you're not only selling your offer, but what we're really doing is that we are selling ourselves, the person behind the offer, the person behind the business, the person behind the service. This is what makes people want to buy and go with you. All right, so we're already done with this episode. If you found this helpful, make sure to send it to someone who would benefit from this episode. And if you yourself want to take your business to the next level, stop guessing everything that you're fucking doing, make sure to book that free discovery call and see how I can start helping you and if you are a good fit for the program. And if you yourself are listening to this episode, make sure to take a screenshot, post it on your story and tag me. I love to see other girlies listening. And thank you so much for tuning in this week. And I'll see you back here next Tuesday. All right. Stay amazing. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in. And don't forget to leave your five-star rate and review on the podcast. I love to know what you guys think of the episodes and I will meet you here next week.